Okay. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is the first for me. So uh, we'll see how this see how this flies. The inspiration uh, for it is actually coming from Beatrice. So uh, she said, hey, why don't you do something on Zoom and uh, maybe we can make something happen. And uh, so I'm, uh, what I want to do is share uh, a trip into the, uh, the room where the sausage gets made and uh, show you what is behind all this stuff and to uh, answer any questions that you may have that I, that I have some knowledge of and I can uh, uh, provide you know, whatever insights that I've gleaned. But the trying to put it right now in the context of the current situation so that we have more tools to deal with the, uh, the various upsets and challenges that, that are occurring. And coming from 40 years of, of Chinese internal martial arts, you pick up certain skills along the way, and that's the perspective I'm coming from, that and also a similar time as an energy healer. So coming from those two angles, I can try to offer some insights that maybe will uh, be helpful. And the uh, starting off, um, is that uh, I think that the, the most important thing we can do right now is, aside from the usual social distancing and all the ideas that uh, we're very familiar with, is, is to learn how to control our internal state so that we can enhance the immune system and learn to get more in control of the autonomic nervous system. because. This is actually, if we, we take this as an opportunity to learn these valuable skills, then going forward, it becomes, uh, these are tools which are useful in any situation going forward. Ordinarily, uh, life fills us up with enough distractions that we don't take the time out to sit back and and actually cultivate these skills. I'm not speaking broadly, uh, I know many of you actually do that, and so I'm not uh, I'm not uh, 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 being a, a generally, but the uh, I want to take these opportunities now to actually develop the uh, enhanced skills that uh, will serve us well going forward. And uh, I mean, in, in the broadest sense, you could say that. Negativity reduces the, your ability of your immune system to function. So we are kind of surrounded by that. And if you ever, if you're feeling too good about yourself, you can always turn on the news and find out how, how life sucks for uh, people all around the world. And uh, and depending on how empathic you are, you can join in that suck it as well. And that it's certainly a good exercise for some part of your day, but it uh, is something you don't want to get stuck in because it has deleterious effects on your immune system. So the, um, we're designed as animals to have this response system that, that deals with crises and the adrenaline response is the that's the gasoline on the fire one and that that is happens in a flash and is over in a flash within a few minutes of the emergency passing the adrenaline cools down and we reabsorb that and we return to a homeostasis cortisol is a longer burning one and that one takes about 30 minutes or 20 minutes 20 minutes to get into uh uh get reabsorbed into your system, which is fine and, and not, not a big deal ordinarily. You just calm down for 20 minutes. But if you're constantly feeding the fire with more, more bad news, more stress, then you will continually have the cortisol levels 
at, at a, a level where they're not being reabsorbed into the system. And the negative effects on your health are, are, are many, you know, just at the, at, at the very least, a 20 minutes of stress will give you approximately three days of a reduced immune system. So that, if you do all day worrying, then you can have, you can be in a, you can reset your cortisol level, your homeostasis so that you're constantly awash in, home, in cortisol, which then can lead to uh, obesity and uh, fat around the middle and, and heart disease and uh, brain deterioration, uh, a whole myriad of functions. A whole myriad of functions get, get influenced by that, by that uh, cortisol. So you want to be able to reabsorb that for about 20 minutes. Uh, Andrew and I have been having this conversation late, lately. Uh, you want to unmute for a moment here? I want you to share your observations a little bit, Andrew, about the uh, 20 minutes. You know, I, I, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I just, just wrote, drafted a blog about this, and, and there's a missing section that you need to write <laughs> um, that quotes you. Uh, and Look it the goes chat. back to when I was in New York City living there and I would go on two dog walks a day and I would practice Tai Chi twice a day and the morning was no problem because just fresh in the morning could jump drop right into the zone or the the uh, you know the uh, everything being hunky-dory with the practice uh, but the afternoon after a day of running around New York City for the whole day I would set to practice my dog would be behind me and I would set to practice and I just was like, this isn't going to work. This is just, I've got to quit. Might as well go home. This isn't working. I can't calm down. I'm completely stressed out. And if I stuck it out for 20 minutes, and I just did it again today, I'm doing the setting my timer for 20 minutes. If I stuck it out for 20 minutes, lo and behold, every single time there was a shift. And I was then begin, able to begin to practice. But I would, in the blog I'm writing now, I would argue that the practice actually is in holding out for the 20 minutes because every part of your body is telling you to quit and give up and it's just not going to work. Right. That's Thank awesome. you, Andrew. So, the, yeah, so the, the um, you want me to talk up to there? Okay, <laughs> move the camera over this way a little more. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Maybe if I drop this down a little. Uh, my engineer wants me to uh, okay. Right. okay so um anyway the uh so your ability to control your 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 cortisol levels has to do with with that ability to to take 20 minutes out and cool your shit down and that interrupts that and allows you to reestablish your homeostasis at a better place. And you begin the process of healing at that point. So the being able to, uh, to do that. And, and that's why we, we try to, to set that as a, a marker for either meditation or Tai Chi or whatever. Get, get, the, get your 20 minutes in. And then there's an interruption there. There's a pattern interruption in your, in your, uh, your movements and, and, and your, your way of thinking pulls you out of that and enables you to, to get, get chilly for a moment and return to, to normal. The other part is the autonomic nervous system. The, the go, go, go part is, your, is the sympathetic nervous system. The rest and digest part is the parasympathetic. And whenever you're under a lot of stress, you tend to move more and more into the sympathetic nervous system till that becomes your default mode and you're you get antsy if you have to slow down at all so just as andrew was saying regarding the the, the practice that same idea works for that as well you have to acclimate to being able to to balance out the energy going out with the energy coming in and that's where the parasympathetic is where the healing occurs 
So a lot of what we're doing here is to be able to do that. Now the tool that I have personally embraced as a uh, as a um, the tool here is one that I think all of you are familiar with, and that is energetic coherence. Something got brought up before, and using it as a tool not just for being able to to throw people across a room or take a punch or whatever, but also being able to establish your, your homeostasis at, at a high level of wholeness so that you can, you can calm everything down and allow it to function a little more freely. So if, um, let us just do a, uh, a five minute meditation here where we're going to just practice the process of, of getting energetically coherent. And just to remind you, the idea is to, to just feel your index, reach and feel your index finger. Now the key part here, and I'll talk more about this as we go along, is the feeling part. That is not just thinking about your finger or thinking about doing it, but to actually feel it. If you have to wiggle the finger a little bit, great. But the idea is you just wanna, the amount of, of intention and effort it would take to flick a light switch is about what you what you need. So just put your hands in your lap and you want to feel your index fingers. And we're just gonna let me get my my watch here. You can you can keep track for me, can't you? Mm -hmm. Like five minutes. All right. Okay. Just, I'm gonna talk you through this at uh, So take a deep breath, inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Another one. And to start this off, each time you inhale, just point and reach with your index finger. Actually, both of them. And you do exhale, relax. Inhale. Exhale, relax the fingers. And do inhale. Feel those fingers. Feel your hands and exhale. And inhale. Notice the clarity in your mind. There's only now. So we are moving Our attention into a whole brain coherence. Moving into the present time where we are intentionally taking over our awareness. Something that may tend to get gobbled up with the default mode network. The chatterbox that updates our personal narrative moment by moment. And breathe, inhale, point, feel your fingers. Notice how easy it is to reset. Notice the thoughts that pop in and begin to talk to you about putting this all into context. And then you breathe, inhale, feel the fingers and let that go.
I mean, even if we even if we know that this is a possibility, the intention to actually do it, as Andrew was saying, to to bypass the the noisy part of your body mind that wants to take you into something else, be able to just say, no, no, for this length of time, I'm just going to be. We're moving away from a dependency on doing and shifting more into a state of being. For its own sake. The longer we're able to sustain a highly coherent state, the more capable we are of being in the present moment. Okay, so that was five minutes. How'd that feel? Good. So, um, so th that is the cornerstone of the uh, of you know what I of all the explorations that I'm doing. It's about coming back to that state of being, uh, a state of wholeness, which then allows us to, to then bring our awareness to the present moment and to, to actually enhance our capacity to be with what is and expand our awareness. The, the, part of the mind that chatters away tends to reduce our focus down to a very narrow part, very narrow lens. And we, uh, we then uh, are uh, unable to perceive more of what's going on. This enables us to go into a super conscious state. We're able to tap into awarenesses which are not present for us in that narrow focus. Any questions so far? A lot of this I've, I've talked about before, but uh, anybody have any any thoughts or questions they want to add? No, they want to move on. Want to move on? Okay. So let's uh, let's do a, a standing meditation, and uh, and this one. I'll step back here. Okay. Can you hear me? Everybody good? Good. Okay, great. All right, so begin with your feet, uh, heels together. Yeah. And step out with your left foot. I want you to feel your weight over the balls of your feet. And just get the feeling of that. Now shift back so your weight is in your heels and notice what happens when you do that. Notice how that affects your energy. And go back and feel the weight over the balls of the feet. And notice what that does to your energy. Notice. The idea is like you're on on the uh, on a diving board, and you're ready to to dive in. You want to have that that quality of readiness there. You're relaxed and sinking down. You're letting go and just turn your body just boom boom like that, and just release the hip joints and allow yourself to sink into the earth. What this does is opens up the energy channels, allows the earth chi to rise up through the balls of your feet, through the bubbling well, and moves up and out your head to get these heavenly chi 
you want to reach with the me one point. Now, if you just reach back your head, find that hair whorl, the place where the soft spot is the, uh, the posterior fontanelle. It's a soft spot on a baby's head. That's the point there. And the idea is to reach up with that. That's the crown of your head. If you were wearing a yarmulke, that would be dead center on the, uh, on the yarmulke. It's just right there. So you, you reach up with that. And in so doing, you're going to open up this point here, the jade, the jade pillow gate, right at the base of the skull. Now, if you take your finger and point it at the, uh, at the base of the skull, feel into that. Okay, that's where the, the, the spine enters into the, into the skull. The uh, topmost vertebra is the atlas. And so we want to have that reaching up with that. And that requires kind of tucking the chin in a little bit and just feel into that. So notice that as you do that, you may have a tendency to rock back into your heels. So take a moment and correct that. Go back into the balls of your feet. Feel, reach up with that as if you're going to touch your head to the ceiling. You're lengthening your neck vertebrae. You're creating space. You're opening up the vertebrae all up and down your spine and creating space there, which allows the energy to fly more freely. Bring your elbows out to the side. This arm's a little bit rounded, but the shoulders relax. Point and reach down with your fingers and feel into your hands. If you are feeling some tingling, pulsing, some sense of that, just, just raise your hand a little bit. Just let me know that you're, you're feeling it. You're, you want to feel some sensations in your in your hands there. Good, okay. So bow forward and bring your hands up as if you're scooping up the nature chi. Bring it up. Up to about chest height and then open. As you do, you're reaching with your fingers, your wrists, your elbows. You're creating space in your joints. Your arms are rounded. Your elbows are dropped. Shoulders are relaxed. You feel the energy circulating throughout the whole system. One of the things that happens whenever you reach with a knee one, this point here, is that you create a tensegrity in the whole system. That is, you're knitting the connective tissue system together in a way that, that enhances your power, but also the effectiveness of the energy flow. Rotate your palms down and press down. Don't worry about how you're breathing right now. Just breathe. Breathe diaphragmatically if you, if you can. Scoop up that energy. Carry. Arms rounded. Open the joints. Like there's a, you're embracing a large balloon and it's expanding, but you're also pressing in on the balloon. You're feeling both of those simultaneously. Press down. Come down to. The uh, just below your belt. Turn to your right. I guess I'm, am I reverse here? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, turn to your right, circle, and then come up your center line. Rotate your palm so it pushes up against the ceiling. Press down with your left hand. Sink. 
feel that the, the tensegrity of the structure, you're pressing up and pressing down, uh, turn to your left, circle your left hand, it comes up the center line, the right hand presses down, left hand comes up, rotate the left palm up, right palm presses down. Feel that. Open the joints. Turn to the right. Circle. Right hand up, left hand down. Bow to the left. Left hand up, right hand down. And the left hand comes down. Bring your hands up, as tight, reach out with your hands, and as you do that, pull back with your body. You feel the opposition there. Energy is created by poles and opposition. Reach out, pull back with the body. Now pull back with your hands and reach forward with the body. So feel those poles in opposition. Reach out with your hands, back with the body. And turn to your right. Your weight is primarily in your left leg now. Reach out with your hands, back with the body. Pull in with the hands, forward with the body. Reach out. Feel those, those poles in opposition there, generating energy flow. Pull back. Turn to your left, reach out, pull back of the body. Pull back with your hands, forward with the body. Should our weight still be in the balls of our feet even when we're- Yes. Going, even when we're- when we're pulling away when we're pulling backwards? Yes, when you're pulling back, yeah. Weight's in the balls of the feet. So you're reaching out, pulling back, yes. Ball that stays in the ball of the feet. You're also reaching with your knee wand the whole time. Yeah, come back to center. Press down. As you press down, push up with the body, reaching up. And then Sink down as your hands come up. Reach forward as if you're going around a big ball here. Pull back with the body. Press down, up. Sink as the hands come up. Back as the hands go out. Forward as the hands come back. Sink. So the whole idea is you're moving 
Your body is moving oppositionally to the direction of your hands. This is generating by pulls in opposition. It's guided by consciousness, guided by your consciousness. You are generating energy. Good. Now go the opposite way. See? Or actually, think back as you reach out, drop as your hands come up, come forward as you come back, as your hands come back. Press down, move up. So you're getting a continuous flow now, just. Yeah. Okay. Now just stand there and feel into your hands. Feel the tingling, pulsing, the sense of fullness. Feel into your feet. Notice the sense of fullness in the whole body. And then step in. Take a deep breath, hands come up. And as you press down, sink. And push down like you're pushing down on a plunger. You're throwing away the chi. Creating a vacuum and allowing for the nature chi to fill that up. You become part of the bigger circuit, the big chi. Just hang out there for a moment and enjoy the that state of being without doing. Allow your mind to embrace that restful place. This is where we enter the space between thoughts. As uh, Miller Repa said, the in the space between thoughts. Non conceptual wisdom shines through. This allows for body, mind, spirit integration. Cool. Okay, grab a seat. Who turned up the heat? <laughs> so uh, any uh, questions thoughts um complaints you can raise your hand yeah beatrice um i've been extremely stressed out for five weeks like at the beginning and, and I this was it almost reminded me of the very first times I came to class when I was also in a very very state of high, high distress and how the energy like kind of blew my circuits like I felt like I had to sit down a few times I was like oh and also I'm just so grateful like it, like to, to feel I missed the last statement I'm also very grateful for actually I mean it was very intense it was like it was a lot at once after being in such a bad state but it's so, so positive and so healing. So thank you. Yeah, very powerful. Great. It's also overwhelming after I've been like cortisol, in a, in a cortisol bath. <laughs> in a cortisol bath. <laughs> Time to towel off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody else? Any other thoughts, questions? Okay. Nancy? Uh, 
What's that? Nancy? Nancy. Um, yeah, I mean, it always brings me back every time I do any kind, and you can really lock in pretty quickly after doing this for as many years as we've all been doing it, most, some of us anyway, or all of us, um, how helpful that is. Like you say, the, the jolt sometimes is fast and overwhelming, and it's hard sometimes to pick up on yourself you know when somebody comes at you and and, and you're you're in that state of almost like a panic i just had a recent my first uh go out to the big box store yesterday it was the first time i ventured out um to get some stuff and i had my mask and gloves on and i passed somebody with his child and and i said excuse me i'm sorry i have to and he said what for what what for and i said i have to pass closely i didn't mean to do that and he, he just screamed at me. He said, oh, get over yourself, would you? And <laughs> it was such a shock. And I was so, I, within a microsecond, I was furious. And I wanted to just tell him to go fuck himself. And, you know, of course, he had his daughter there. But what I want to say about that is that it was because of this practice that I was able to just kind of, you know, <laughs> let it go let it flow through but it's 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 hard you can't just not feel stuff and that's why this practice is so helpful because those moments are going to trigger you they are going to come up and they are going to set you off and um yeah i too am grateful for the practice that's why i'm here tonight again just to be able especially doing it in a group i love this so uh yeah all those triggers are out there but it's this practice that really helps to to bring everything back down and get grounded again and then just move forward and you know because it's not mine it's 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 his that's, that's great thanks nancy the uh we're not looking to maintain a a flat state of equanimity the whole time we uh we're living life and challenges are going to come up if you're li living at all an interesting life and uh the ability to reset after you get knocked off is where uh, you know is, is the skill of it. I I think be able to to constantly reset and say, oh okay, yeah, oh good, good one, okay, thank you, and moving on. So in uh, you know I know in training push hands the what we always tried to do was invest in loss, not invest in losing. But to put ourselves in vulnerable positions, say so we could say, "Oh, that's an interesting puzzle. How do I solve that one?" And then you can you're constantly able to to allow yourself to be put in a vulnerable position, get in a threatening state, and then say, "Okay, what's the solution here?" And to be able to return to your center, return to that calm center where you're able to to think clearly and you're not even thinking, you're actually beyond thinking at that point. Thinking is a very dense way of, of, of going about. You actually move into that super conscious state where you have access to more energy and information than you do in your normal uh, thinking mode. And in that state, it's not unconscious, it's super conscious. You're actually able to open up to heightened awareness and you're able to consider many, many things at once. And uh, as long as you don't stop and condense on, you you become familiar with it. You're sort of riding the the energy patterns at that point, and you're you're feeling into it. But being able to reset over and over and over again, a hundred times a day, a thousand times a day, reset, and this oh yes okay here I am, and you're back and you're ready to go again. And uh, so so the more you do this the more the coherent state becomes your default mode. That super conscious state becomes your default mode. You're, you, you know when you get your, when you got knocked off your pins and then you quickly move back into it. Cool, anybody else? Okay, let's uh, we'll do some more stuff. We'll do uh, another, uh, yay. Okay, let's. Uh, Back to here. 
Uh, you might want to angle just a little bit so that they, yeah. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So, this one we're going to um, could work with wood chi, which is the, the chi of the, of the springtime. And it's wood chi is an expansive chi. It's the chi of, of the flowers pushing up through the dirt and, and moving toward uh, their expression as flowers. We've come from the, the yin chi of winter, and we're moving from yin to yang. So this is, we're moving in that direction of expansion. And the, uh, the uh, wood chi has two elements. The, liver and the gallbladder so bring your right foot forward reach your right hand out a posture familiar uh, you can recognize as play guitar in uh you know tai chi form maybe your hands a little bit higher reaching out opening the joints feeling pointing those index fingers reaching out there Notice that the hands are parallel. So there's, I'm not crossing over like this. I'm keeping the hands parallel. My elbows are dropped. And feel the weight in your left foot. So you're reaching out and so then drop your elbows a little bit and then reach. And then drop. And then reach out, expand. And this is for your liver chi. Relax and then expand. With the wood energy, right? With the wood energy. Feel that lengthening, that opening, the wood energy, it knits the whole body together via the connective tissue system. And relax. And reach. Opening. Yeah. And hands come down. And then step out again with the right foot. This time you're reaching down. Your weight is in your front leg this time, about 60%. Reaching down. And this is for your gallbladder chi. And sink back into your left leg. And then sink into your, your right leg and reach down. Opening the joints, feeling that expansion from the feet up through the, through the body, out through the arms, out through the fingertips, and then sink back. And reach and open. Good, and then Come back and step back with your right foot and then turn, reaching out with your left foot. Okay, and reaching up, opening for the liver chi and sink and then open and sink. And open. Sink. And open. And pull that back. Step forward. And reach down to the gallbladder. And 
Take your arms and then press forward. Sink back into your right foot. And then reach down and through. Open. Back. Through. Good. And just hold that. Relax. Open the joints and feel your body getting very relaxed in the in the structure. What we call sung, ability to release into the supporting structure of the body. Good. And back. Press down. And pause for a moment and feel the energy circulating throughout the whole system. Reach with your knee one, your, the crown point of your head. Feel the balls of your feet. Feel the vitality, feel the calmness of your mind, feel the centeredness of, your, of the whole system. Feel your root. And step in with your left foot, deep breath. And press down. Disappear the chi. That just allow yourself to dissolve into the emptiness. Just enjoy a moment of pure being. Okay, we just have a couple of minutes left. Um, anybody want to have any questions, thoughts? Uh, anything you want to share? Anybody? Shoot up a hand. Okay. Boy, that one really heated me up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> better to do that one in the morning. You. <laughs> you look. Uh, <laughs> you look juiced stuff. Um, Can you hear me? Yes. Who? Oh, uh, Milanka. That's me. Milanka. Hi. Yes. Go ahead. Hi. Hmm. Yes. Can hear you. Did you have a question? No, I don't have a question. I just feel like. I, this is just like the teeniest baby step to get back into this state and I have to do it every day. I've been through so much. Uh, I've been in a bath of cortisol for two months. <laughs> no, yeah. very, very serious uh, stress and um, with accompanying aches and pains and, and my mind. So this is, it just uh, feels good to get to a being place. I mean, I, I, did, I am also starting to do meditation again and Reiki again. So with this, I think it should be good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. 
Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Uh, un unmute. Unmute. There you go. There we go. Hi from Connecticut. I don't know where everyone is. Rick, that was wonderful. What a wonderful way to end the night. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Great. Thank you. Good. Anybody else? Any requests for next time? Uh, yes. Uh, Maria says, any requests for next time? So you can put that in the chat. You don't have to think about it right now, but you or, can put that. What's okay. That? They can, I'm going to. The chat will be closed when the meeting's closed, so they can put it in the Facebook or send an email. Facebook or send an email to me. So you you all have my okay. email. You can send it to me. And if you have any requests, uh, we're going to do this uh, for a few weeks. See how uh, see how it goes, and uh, uh, should be a, should be an interesting ride. Um, like I say, I'm happy to uh, uh, to do whatever uh, you guys find interesting. And uh, if, uh, uh, I will, of course, pick up some other cool stuff as well. I think uh, Rick and Beatrice both want to say something. Rick, Rick, you're on, on mute. You have? Oh, I'm on. I should you go. I, I, I unmuted him. You unmuted me. How dare you? Anyway, he has uh, the is, he has the power. Are, yes. Is there instructions for the contribution somewhere? Does it happen through PayPal or what? Uh, we'll post something on that. PayPal okay. is good if you do that. Uh, other options, if you got PayPal, do that. Just uh, at tcalchemy at aol.com, and that okay. uh, that'll work. That's uh, uh, yeah. or, uh, Let us know the particular. contribution cheerfully received and uh, uh, thank and cheerfully you. given. Uh, what's uh -huh. that? And cheerfully given. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and Beatrice wanted to say something. Beatrice. Oh, um, uh, two thoughts. One was just thank you. This is wonderful. And um, future thoughts. I don't. I, per, I would love if we like continue doing, you know, building, building our building blocks. But I'd love to eventually do, like the crazy, crazy stuff we do in the third hour of Wednesday nights together. Some of the. Yeah. Well, the, a lot of that's interactive, so we have to kind of uh, we have to deal with the uh, with the limitations of that. But uh, even stuff is feeling our own hand and touching the air. We can some solo. That's a good point. I, I, I'll, I'll have to think up some. Uh, some ways you can do it for your for yourself, but you're right. Good. Okay, I think that's uh, that's time. Uh, good. Do you have any other questions or thoughts you want to do? You have, do you have something, Joyce? No. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, good. Snug Harbor going? going. How is Snug Harbor going? Oh, Snug Harbor. Oh, we're having fun with that. Going out there, we're getting out there. Uh, uh, whatever the weather's nice. So yeah. Times the week anyway. I hope to join you at some point. Ah, sure. Okay, I think Scott and Valerie want to say something. Scott and Valerie, did you have something? Yeah, I just wanted to say I'm really glad we're on the West Coast because it's going to take me three hours to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see all these faces. Wonderful. Gonna, Great. Thank you all that. for joining in. I really appreciate it. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll do this again next uh, next Wednesday. Love you all. Oh, Bye -bye. You. I love you. Thank you. Oh, I'm waving, but nobody can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maria. I'm waving. Maria. <laughs> Where is Maria? <laughs> hey, Michaela. Hey, hey, Michaela. Hey, Kayla. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, guys. Good to hey, you. Oh, you look so good. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to gallery. The of the outfit. <laughs> I like that mom was just the, the, the voice from on high. <laughs> the unmuter. The unmuter. Okay. I will end the meeting. Okay. Love you all. all right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.